Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash, Salisbury, Maryland. Um, so here we are at day three, going full time. Um, been completely blessed um, with the amount of business and the amount of calls and estimates um, that I have received for work. Um, Monday, I did a $200 house wash. Um, and then spent the rest of the day doing estimates. Tuesday, um, I did a $100 um, rust removal. And again, th those are not indicative of anywhere even close to what we are typically doing. First one was a super small house and then the rust removal was literally one strip um, or one big drip of rust on some siding. So I went ahead and did that instead of sending my guys out there. Um, it took me three minutes to do that hundred dollars in, in rust removal um, but so yeah I mean so here here's the I guess the difference for me so far um, you know being being full-time now having that time to number one answer calls I've had I think two calls go to voicemail um, in the last three days I've done upwards of about $8,000, maybe $10,000 in estimates. Um, whole mess of deer in this field. No bucks, just all does, whatever. Um, <laughs> but again, having that opportunity to be able to go out and do these estimates, book more work, be able to meet and talk with a lot of these customers. Because a lot of times, I mean, if you're working a full-time job and washing part-time, you don't have the opportunity to be able to do as many estimates um, in person and especially now that it's daylight savings you know here we are in November um, you know I run out of daylight before I run out of estimates to do um, and it's also been nice now I can schedule a lot of these my zones wherever they are and everything um, and most of say today we did I've done two twelve hundred dollar estimates uh, a 500 a couple of gutter cleaning ones they're a little under 200 bucks um, and I'll probably go home with like six grand in estimates today so I guess yeah no, definitely we're over 10,000 for the week um, but yeah it's all those little things that I've been wanting to do those you know being able to spend more time creating videos I don't know if you saw the rust removal video that I made that thing is going to be pure gold. I will have that out there that will help me boost SEO for rust removal. And quite frankly, I hope to be able to dominate and get, you know, to be the name for rust removal in our area. Um, and I think people appreciate the smiley face um, that we made in that siding. So, and then we'll get a nice picture of it after it's all been cleaned off. So. Um, and again, I was just talking with another contractor, you know, he's talking about trying to, to go full time come springtime and everything. And he's got a, got a good, good bit of equipment, um, set up and everything. So, and he's, he understands a lot more, um, process wise than a lot of people do, you know, when they're getting the idea of getting their business going or growing to the point of going full time. Um, but again, my, my biggest bit of advice for him was you have to figure out the marketing aspect. You have to figure out how to get five leads a day, how to get 10, 20, whatever, you know, whatever volume of leads you need. I mean, if it's just you, you know, obviously you need at least one lead a day. I would say to probably aim for getting three to five leads a day. You're going to get more some days, less others. Um, but if you can average three to five estimates a day, even if your booking rate is horrible and you just book one job a day, at, let's just say 300 bucks, you know, so you do 1500 a week, that keeps you fed. And if you do those, you know, five, $300 jobs this week and keep doing that for a number of weeks, you're gonna have more people that are gonna see you. You're gonna be able to get more estimates, get more leads. Uh, Goodness, there's some dirty houses out here. Um, and then be able to get more, you know, more jobs out of it. And then you start doing 
<clears throat> 500 bucks a day for your average. 2,500 bucks a week, 10 grand a month. That's not a bad, that's not a bad day, guys. Um, certainly once you start going full bore, um, and if you're not spending all day doing estimates and you're spending all day washing, you know, doing $1,000 a day, $1,200, $1,500 a day is a very reasonable target. Um, I wouldn't shoot for much higher than that by yourselves. I would at that point try and get other um, people in place to do the work. Um, but again, I, I've got my, now I've got two guys right now. Um, they'll, they'll rack up 40 hours a week between now and uh, every week, probably between now and Christmas. Um, unless we intentionally are not scheduling stuff, which will be how we're handling stuff for Thanksgiving. Um, you know, we'll, we'll have a jam-packed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I have one job for Friday, but other than that, we're not going to do anything unless they really, really want to. Um, but that, that's the beauty of now having that flexibility. Um, uh, we'll spend a little bit of time with the kids today too. Um, which as we slow down, you know, that, that's the nice thing about being busy right now is I can go ahead and make as much money now, um, uh, so that when it's snowy, when it's super duper cold, um, go hang out in the shop or just hang out at home and, you know, do nothing if I want to. So, um, 100% loving this. Um, I know the question eventually will be, you know, do I wish I had done this sooner? Um, yes and no. Ultimately, this was the perfect time to do it because of the additional financial incentives for making that jump. Um, Otherwise, I probably, if, if that had not been available, um, I don't know how I would have handled the last three days. Um, I really all last week with the number of calls, I'd, I'd be about 15 estimates in the hole right now. So again, thrilled to be out full time um, and be able to even just have more conversations with people on here. Um, so anyways, have a great day guys. Thanks.